Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and today I want to do a review for you for 2016's Clown Kill. Now, this does have an alternate title in the UK. It is called Locked In, which I guess I understand, but it kind of it kind of doesn't fit the film. But I'll get into that later. Um, before I do the uh, synopsis and the review for you, I'd like to take this time to thank Wild Eye for providing me with this uh, screener copy to review for you guys. It's very generous of them. Now, Clown Kill <clears throat> is a 2016 film, and it runs 80 minutes. And it is written, directed, and produced by Mark J. Howard. Um, now, to get into the plot synopsis, there is an incident in the beginning where a woman is uh, drugged at a bar and raped by a clown in the bathroom. That kind of plays into uh, what happens later on in the film. But the woman works in this um, office building. And it seems like a typical type office setting. You know, different employees have different problems with different people. You know, they talk about things that are going on in their life. And... The boss is kind of a sleazebag who, you know, kind of pushes the boundaries of sexual harassment. I'll say that. Now, he's also not a very nice person and takes advantage of his workers by saying that you have to um, stay late to work on this or, you know, you're going to have to work all weekend or, you know, so on and so forth. So, uh, the girl who works in the office building, who had the incident earlier, um, ends up having to stay to finish some, I guess, reports for the boss. And she is stalked by a clown in the um, office building. And employees come and go. Um, you have a security team, and this, the security team was by far the best part of the movie. They were really funny. Um, the clown is named Charlie Boy, and um, it kind of resembles to me a shot-on-video movie. I'm not sure because it's the low-budgetness of the film, but I like shot-on-video films, so I actually enjoyed this. Um, uh, the one drawback is... It does have um, CGI blood. It does have practical effects, but it also has CGI blood, and you can kind of tell. But, um, like I said, I enjoyed it for what it was. <clears throat> it is a... Um, it just seems like a shot on video movie to me. The kills were pretty good. I um, thought the acting was okay. Uh, I enjoyed it. Now, the other thing I wanted to say about this is... There are some special features. And the people who worked on this film, uh, they're called the Northern Misfits. This is a UK film. And they have a bunch of other things that they've done as, on uh, special features. Some commercials like mock trailers and stuff like that. And it's clear that these people actually really enjoy working together. So I thought that that was pretty cool when I was watching the special features to it but the guy who plays Charlie boy um, actually I think did a pretty good job he's kind of a goofy clown like you know a lot of the other slasher films that you're seeing now um, but I enjoyed it uh, I'm gonna give this movie a six and I want to thank uh, Wild Eye again for providing me with the screener to um, do a review for you guys um, if you are not subscribed to Wild Eye, please do so. They have a YouTube page, and they also have a a website. So uh, go give them give them some love. They um, they really have some good titles out there. So I'm going to give this a six, 
I do recommend it. It does have some replay value, but um, just bear in mind, this is, in my opinion, very much like a shot on video film. So if that's not your thing, I mean, you know. But anyway, if you like what you see in here, hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.